Hey gamers, Maniac here with GameXS.net doing a special how-to video for you guys. While this isn't technically gaming related, I know that a lot of gaming takes place on the PC. And because of that, I know that your data is important to you. You're going to have files, games, save games, documents, that sort of stuff on your PC that you're basically going to want to have backed up in case your computer breaks or you decide to upgrade it for whatever reason. And it's always good to have a backup drive. Now. I would recommend, if you're planning on doing system backups, the best way to do a system backup is to basically do it to an external device. That way, in case the system fails for whatever reason, or you get a virus, you can simply not have the backups connected to the system before you blank it. That's the major reason. If you're backing up to an internal drive, um, or a drive that's connected to the PC, if you get a virus, the virus will simply just sneak into your backups as well. So what I'm basically going to recommend is get something along the, these lines. This is right here is a Western Digital Elements drive. It's one terabyte in size, a USB 3. I don't think I paid more than $65 for this drive off Newegg.com. Um, you could probably also find Western Digital Passports for comparable prices as well at your local Best Buy for whatever reason. But this is basically what you're going to want to have. You make sure that it's equal to or greater than the storage capacity of your current primary drive. If you want to know how to do that, then simply just um, go to your My Computer um, or your Control Panel. Oh, I don't have My Computer set up here. Just go to My Computer and it will tell you the storage capacity of your local disk. Right underneath it. Now as you can see here this drive is already filled up but I have already backed that drive up so don't worry about that one. So the drive that's in this computer is a one terabyte drive. This is a one terabyte drive with enough storage capacity for the data that's currently on there. Now um, the first thing I want to make sure is if you're using a USB 3 or USB SS, SS meaning super speed, um, if you're using a drive like that, then you're going to want to make sure that you connect the USB port to a USB 3 connection on your PC. Now, important to note that this computer is a little old, and because of that, it uh, does not have any USB 3 ports. Your computer, if it's newer, likely will. However, not all of the ports will be USB 3. The way to know if your port is USB 3 or not is usually it will have a blue tint to the port itself or there will be a little bit of a, a small SS next to the USB logo on the port. Either one of those denotations typically will say to the user, this is a USB 3 port. If you have a USB 3 device, use this port for the device for optimal speeds. Now, this cord will work in both a USB 2 and a USB 3 uh, port either way. However, if I and it won't and if you accidentally plug it your plug a USB 3 device into a USB 2 port you're not going to break your system or break your drive it's just going to take a very long time for a backup to happen since I have no choice it doesn't matter anyway so connect I'm just going to connect this drive to the front panel right here it's only a temporary thing it's a good idea to have the drive already backed up and formatted for the computer it's probably going to take a second for the drive to connect. Computer's already detecting the drive, that's fine. Go to start and type in the word backup. And you'll see a program marked on the very top, backup and restore. You might have other backup utilities in your computer. Um, that's likely because your computer's manufacturer might have included them. I don't use those. This is basically Windows 7. I'm using Windows 7 utility. So there you have it. So I'm going to just tell it to set up a backup right now. It's checking for backup devices. Um, if you're using Windows 7, the Windows 7 and the Windows Vista backup utilities are almost identical with one major exception. Um, the backup utilities for Windows Vista will allow you to back up your system to your primary drive. That is a very bad idea to do and I'll tell you why. The reason why you're doing a backup in the first place is in case your primary fails. 
if your primary fails for whatever reason, not only will your primary data be deleted, but also your backup data will be inaccessible, unless you basically can somehow dig through the drive and get the data off of it elsewhere. Whether you have an internal backup drive or some type of um, external drive, back up to that. If you choose to go the DVD option, you're going to need to have a lot of backup disks. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose to do a backup here to the new volume that I formatted, which is the drive that I just installed. I'm going to tell it next. I'm going to tell it to choose. Actually, no. I'll, I'll just let Windows choose. This is just for settings. That's fine. I'm going to tell it to include Windows folders and a system image. And I'm going to tell it to save the settings and run backup. Okay. Backup is in progress. And now the Windows backup will start backing my hard drive up to this thing as well as a system utility. If you plan on basically um, doing some type of system utility, like uh, let's say you plan on wiping the system and restoring a backup, that's fine. But you're going to need a Windows 7 disk in order to do that. Um, the Windows 7 backup utility is also included in, in uh, Windows 8. And it will work just fine. You will be able to run Windows 7 backups or Windows 7 style backups on Windows 8. But that's not the primary backup utility that Windows 8 uses. Windows 8 uses a, a program called Windows File History or something along those lines. I don't use Windows 8 for obvious reasons that Windows 8 is terrible and practically borderline unusable. So because of that, I'm simply just going to do a regular Windows 7 backup. You can use file history if you use Windows 8. Um, file history is really good if you change files and you want to go back to an earlier time. It's kind of similar from, at least from on the surface, is what I've seen for uh, the Mac backup utility, of which this is not. But um, this is the process that which I would recommend doing if you're using Windows 7 or Windows Vista. This should work just fine for most of you. When I'm done with this, I'm going to basically disconnect this drive. Some people prefer to keep their drives connected so it's backing up on a regular basis. In fact, even Windows says that it will back itself up on a regular history while it's connected. However, as I said before, that works fine if the computer just simply breaks on you. But if the computer gets a virus, the virus will very easily spread to your backup disk. It's much simpler, basically, to start a backup, complete the backup, remove the drive entirely, and simply just lock the drive away in some type of uh, vault or, some, or, or safe until you need it again, like when the computer breaks. Yes, it will have only the most up-to-date backup as the one that you're basically performing right now, but you can always just plug the system back in when, you know, and, and update your backups on a right, you know, at your own leisure. So there you have it, guys. That's how you perform a backup in Windows 7 or Windows Vista. I hope you enjoyed. More backup videos will be coming soon. Until next time, guys, this is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care. Over and out.